the book of Prophet Malachi, returned from the hundred years from the return from exile from Babylon, or living in Jerusalem at some time. The temple has been prepared a while ago, not going well. Ezra Nehemiah, her hopes was high. They returned and built their lives, the temple, the prophets would come true. Mazana would come, a unified Israel and all nations and all justice and peace for all. But that's not what, what's happened. The Israel has gone to the city, even the ancestors, and poverty and justice. Malachi, we find out this new generation who designed a series of disputes where God is looking a claim, a decree, a question, a disagreement, a response. This happened six times. First three disputes, Israel's corruption, and confronting Israel's corruption and his arguments, and his disputes, and exile, it did not change anything. Israel's heart. The dispute is as I still love his people. He ejects the king. God is reminded you how he chose the family of Jacob to carry God's covenant people, but not Esau, his brother. And the book that came from him, that came to ruin, from Genesis and I and I, and expose expectations of God's faithfulness. Dispute number two, he did disputes the people of the temple, the people of fire by how are we despising your temple? And look at his shame, his offerings, it's a good, it shows that they don't value Jesus. And all these priests around this temple, they going to participate in this corrupt form of worship. It tells God's worship to prove and dispute and dispute three, and you turn against, against me and your wives. What and how? This toxic combination, all of the theology and divorce, the Israelite men, and Israelite women adopted the worship and sister gods and the realms and the story of Emmanuel chapter and then my connects this to waves of of divorcing their wives and the for good reason and Malachi's and it's a betrayal to God's covenant divorcing and the for this this is beauty of God your English, and where is the God of justice, the injustice, the corruption, that God does nothing. And God responds and says, I'll send a messenger to prepare the way before me, and God's return the day of the Lord, and I will come like a fire, and move purifying of injustice, and only the faithfulness will remain of this people, the first dispute, turn back to, to him. And how can people ask how they can turn back to him? Start off, how they start offering tithes again, and their income to the temple. And the word tithes, one tenth, the annual income donated to support the temples and the priests in different parts of Torah. We know from part of Malachi that people they neglected this response. The temple was falling in disrepair. He confronts them, he wants the people to bless the abundance, but only if they're going to be faithful. And finally, they accuse God. It's not important it's to serve God. The wicked people are succeeding in God's life and does nothing. And God responds, as in the first in the book, a short story about the faithful remainment, the people that fear the Lord, that love to get together and talk to honor God and serve Him. God ordered scroll of remembrance of this people that, that can read the faithful, the scroll, remember the God's character and his promises. And Elevi shows the divine gifts of scripture that point to us, to the past, to the inspiration of hope for the God's faithfulness for the future. It's a conclusion. 
that picks up, develops the fourth dispute of the coming day of the Lord, and that was it further their purifying and judgment and seal the weak, no, weak, wickedness from this from this people. The future redmond, the day of the Lord, not a trip, is a cause for joy. It's like a rays of the sun that brings healing in life for the hope of the future. And the Elakai dispute goes for to the Lord. Final three verses. And it can function like a concluding appendix by the Malachi, with the whole collection of the Torah and the prophets. First, the reader to remember the Torah of my servant, of Moses, and the law of the covenant, the five books of the Bible, and the summary of the prophets, and Elijah, and the day of the Lord, will restore the hearts of the God's people. His conclusion a Torah, unified story of the future, and redeemed by God, and betrayed him, rebellion in the heart of Torah, scripture, in the future day when God will send a new Moses, Elijah, to restore God's people, and heal the heart, and all the promises of the Jeremiah and Ezekiel, the concluding dependence scripture of the fine, the ponder, and to tell the truth about human condition, about their selfishness, and announce God's promise that one day he will send a messianic king, and I shall personally to confront evil, to restore people, and the healing and justice, and that future of hope, and Malachi, and the Torah, not prophets, it's all about.